I feel really lucky to manage uh, the team KMC Orbea. It's a dream job, uh, but I also have to admit it costs a lot of energy. Mm, okay, it's only sports, but uh, yeah, I I feel responsible um, to the riders. They are focusing their entire life to perform, to ride as fast as possible, and I need to uh, deliver on my side and to help them do that. Uh, we also owe a lot to our partners and sponsors because they are fully committed to help our riders as well. To lead uh, this kind of team is from one side big honor because I like this job, uh, I like to be with the riders, I like to be in the mountain bike scene, since ever, almost. Uh, from other side is big responsibility, because we are traveling all around the world, uh, we are facing many new places, we need to adapt on many new cultures and uh, we meet the different people uh, but you know what is fun doesn't matter where we are the mountain bike connect us and the mindset is almost the same uh, this makes the thing uh, really easier to me to to organize all the things and uh, to work with the team on the highest level <music> Managing a team is multitasking and uh, the most important points to take care of are way different depending on the moments you are and the place you are. Um, my job is to help riders and staff to focus on the right thing at the right moment. This can be totally different whether you are 20 minutes from the start of a, a World Cup race or about to enter a plane for eight hours of travel or you know, in the middle of a test ride for Michelin. Important thing in the team is that the energy in the team is always on high level. That the spirit of the team grows and never fall down because I, I strongly believe that this is really, really connected in the end with the result for all the teams. We know that each one has his needs, it's a little bit different and stuff like this. And in the end, to, to connect all these segments together, that on the end of the day, we are all tired, but happy. This is the most important thing. Important is that the riders maintain certain uh, performance on the body. It's really not not good that they are just resting and chilling and don't train, because season will come. 
sooner or later. I am positive man and I, I know that the things will go better. The riders usually train at home on home trainers. Uh, you can do a lot of exercises for core. You can really improvise in this situation. If you are easy, if you are focused that you can do something, you will do. Uh, our body is a uh, big weight. We can do just uh, exercises with the body and they are in this situation more than efficient for what we need. Yeah, training is not so easy with the quarantine, but the rules are different depending on the, of the country. We have riders in five different countries and uh, currently everybody is uh, trying to maintain a good fitness and be ready uh, to begin a specific preparation uh, as soon as we have the dates of the, of the first races. They need four to six weeks to be uh, ready and to perform well uh, once they know uh, when is the target. Sport, we need to be always optimistic. Like I said before, spirit high, motivation high, influence on the people that we are still working, we are still training, we are dedicating to our goal. Uh, we need to fight for our future. Even if I'm realistic, we don't know how it will be uh, because the things are changing from one day to another. Uh, I can just congratulate to the Enduro World Series people. Uh, they postponed first three races. They found the, the new dates immediately. Uh, for the team managers like me, it was really easy to organize the things. Uh, we just moved the accommodation to the November, for example, or stuff like this. But now what we see, the new problems are coming and uh, I really that this calendar will hold and we can do whole season because like is now, let's say we will start a little bit later, but we will do everything. And uh, I'm still uh, really positive and optimistic that we will do this season normally like it is now in the calendar. We are still waiting uh, for updates from the International Federation, from the UCI, to know when the season starts again. But what we know already is that it will uh, end much later than usual. Usually we, we end the season uh, between mid-September and beginning of October. Uh, now we are prepared to end the season uh, in November, maybe even end of November. And what we know also is that it May it will certainly be really dense uh, racing every weekend, and uh, for the for the race that have been cancelled to be rescheduled as much as possible, and for us to have a, a season uh, as complete as possible. <laughs>